What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another episode of this gun f***ing rocks and this time we're taking a look at the beacon. The beacon is a dedicated drop from Jarek Logan in the Bounty of Blood DLC near the halfway point of Blood Sun Canyon right before the elevator. There is no mayhem or DLC requirements to get this gun. The beacon can also world drop inside of DLC 3 meaning that it can be obtained randomly from any named enemy, from the chest, or even the final boss of that DLC, the Ruiner. The special ability of this gun is that it shoots out orbs that deal weapon element splash damage. For example, if you're using radiation like the one that I'm using here, then your splash damage will also be radiation, which is extremely powerful on this gun. Also, when reloading, this gun will trigger a Nova of the current element as well, so use caution when reloading near barrels. This gun will always be dual elemental and can roll with a times two variant, giving it even more damage at the cost of one extra ammo per shot. The times two variant is extremely tough to get though, as it requires you to get one with a very specific hammer roll, and that part is weighted to occur less often than the other options. Now keep in mind you don't have to get the times 2 variant. I'm not using one in this video and it's absolutely tearing things up. The beacon received a pre-launch buff tripling its damage so make sure your hot fixes are applied to ensure that your gun is receiving the buff. Playing offline you will not see the damage that you're seeing in this video when you're using this thing. This gun is an absolute beast on every single Vault Hunter but being splash damage it shines on Amara and Moe's when you build for it. Zane's clone however using the double barrel capstone can also do amazing damage with this gun. Flak probably gets the least usage from this weapon, but even they can use it to tremendous success. Even better, this gun can roll with splash damage anointments, making it even stronger. And that's the ideal anointment that you should be looking for for every single Vault Hunter, some sort of splash anointment. But you can also use character specific anointments and still absolutely wreck with this thing. A lot of players already know about the power of the free radical, but not enough people seem to use the beacon and it absolutely absolutely shreds. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please take a second to hit that like button, tap subscribe, tickle the bell icon to be notified when I post another episode. Let me know in the comment section down below what gun you guys would like to see next on this series. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.